Let's bring in Terrell County, Texas Sheriff uh, uh, Thad Cleveland. His county lies on the U.S.-Mexico border in the Big Bend sector. Thank you to your, uh, for joining us. I just can't get out of my mind the image of those children coming across, some as young as two years old. You heard from that little girl there. We can keep showing. I mean, these are, these are like child after child, line after line. I mean, how can anybody object to the plan to stop this from happening? They're making incredibly dangerous journeys, okay? Children as young as two years old. Um, what we're seeing as far as trafficking, I mean, it, it does not end. Your thoughts? Howdy, Sandra. Thank you for having me back on America Reports. And, and you're absolutely right. Um, you know, even those of us at the border who were Border Patrol agents, um, you know, we're parents as well. And, and to see this is heartbreaking. I often tell people when they tell you, you know, you, your job is dangerous and it's hard. Look, I'm in law enforcement because um, this is what I've been attracted to. I've been shot at. I've been in fistfights. I've been in chases. What's hard about our job is seeing those those children and, and the women that are, are crossing the border by themselves. But I must make the point that this administration, as we all know, has fought harder against the state of Texas than it's fought harder against the cartels that are smuggling these people in the United States. What are we looking at? I mean, how are they getting to that border by themselves? Um, what is yes, happening? Yes, ma'am. Well, and a lot of them... You, their parents may already be here in the United States, and then some of them they may not. They may just be giving them into the hands of a smuggler. Um, and as we all know, we, you know, we've heard the stories of what happens to people on their journey up to the United States. And that's why America spoke, put President Trump back in the White House, and him and Tom Homan will make a good push at the U.S.-Mexico right, border. And more on that in just a second, because as we know, Democrats are resisting these deportations. But when you see these images, what, what happens next with these kids? I mean, what, what is the process that we're watching right now? Yes, ma'am. So the Border Patrol will take them into their custody. Since they're unaccompanied, um, they will be turned over to Health and Human Services, and that's HHS. And then at that point, uh, we've seen the stories where there's over 300 children that have been lost in America. Health and Human Services will turn them over to a sponsor here in the United States. And at that point, that, that's where we've seen, you know, this administration, again, loosening, loosening the grip on, on those kiddos. I can tell you that this upcoming administration will tighten that process up again. Um, these kids would be much better shape if they were still in the hands of U.S. Border Patrol agents. I can tell you that for sure. And that turning over is where so many of these children end up into the wrong hands um, in incredibly dangerous and scary situations and go unaccounted for. As we know, that is happening every single hour of every single day, and nobody's keeping track. Um, that is about to change, although Democrats, if they can, are going to try to stop it. Here's Ro Khanna. It's very concerning and scary. People want a secure border. They want to make sure that violent felons aren't in this country. But Donald Trump and Tom Oman have talked about actually having the military involved in going into uh, businesses and conducting raids, asking people for uh, their paperwork. Uh, and I don't think that's what the American people want. So Democrats are still making the case that accountability is a bad thing, and we've heard from many of them. They are going to resist these deportation efforts to secure the border. Well, Sandra, I'll, I'll tell you what. I, I haven't heard the president or Tom mention using the military to go into businesses to, to conduct these sweeps. Having been Border Patrol's representative under the last administration when Trump was our president, um, I was Border Patrol's uh, point man at U.S. Army North. U.S. Army North coordinates all uh, major events in the United States, whether it's hurricanes, earthquakes, you know, natural disasters, they also coordinated the border efforts. And we won't use these military folks in an enforcement role. They will be using a support role. They may drive bu detention buses, they may provide detention services, and then they may also be flying people back to their, their home countries when they repatriate them. But again, I haven't heard that language that that gentleman just used a at all. Um, but. Their, their services may be used, and, and we've utilized them before, so it's not new to us here at the border. Got it. Uh, Sheriff, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much. Thanks, Andrew. God bless. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.